couple of Julianas. And he, he started off getting into some of the training by doing dog walking. Yeah. But he's now really good at dog walking and does some training with reactive dogs. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I, so what I, I know what I can do for him now is I can start picking him some of these reactive dogs that want day training walks, but I mean, I can't quite do that. I'm like, I can offer him up because yes, he, for as big as he is, he keeps himself really small. Yeah. And slow. Yeah. yeah, it was like, oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Take a break. Take a break. Good morning, everybody. We have five to eight month old teenagers in this class. Everybody that's in the room right now has been with us for a while. So you will see them offering a lot of behavior, which is fantastic. Um, this is one of the reasons I often tell people to, um, like if you're working on something, if you're working on place, if you're working on teaching your dog to go to a station, in your own home, if you can bring out the place and then when you start training and then put it away when you stop training, um, a lot of times um, they'll learn it a little bit faster. Because you can definitely tell Hugo comes in here and he's like, I know you like it when I'm up here. Um, Teddy just got a little distracted. She's still busy getting the wiggles out, which is just fine. But I mean, with um, especially with Hugo, we're gonna be able to show off working through like stay and then stay with distractions um, and then we could even do things like knock on the door and um, walk away from him but i'm going to go through a little bit of touch and reward him for being calm touching a paw rewarding him for being calm sometimes she would you know, get to the point where they're like i don't really want you to touch me this is not my favorite thing in the world and in the meantime, Kenny oh, oh, that's great. Kenny gets to get some of the wiggles out, which is fine. Kenny needs to get the wiggles out. That's what she needs to do right now. Hugo, go get it. Um, Angel's over working on the flashlight. Um, Angel's going to be working on the camera around a little bit. Hugo, go get it. Um, Angel's over working the flashlight. Um, Angel's going to be working on the camera around a little bit. Hugo's like, hey, look at me. I'm still on the platform. Hi, wonderful. This is lovely. Maybe we teach you a couple tricks today. Yeah. 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 Yeah
a little bit of a resource garden with other dogs and his food. So when she came to eat the treats, notice how busy I was just rewarding it. Oh, we got to pee right before Emmy. I'm done. Yeah, that's super fun. Okay, I was worth the time. <laughs> but I, I, I'm playing around with this idea about like, oh, dude. <laughs> I am back out of the spray. He totally peed over her pee. Oh, dude. Dude. Dogs are gross. Dogs are super gross. Um, um, yeah, so like the little spaceship game that you play, or like I call it airplane or whatever, same thing. Um, getting them to breathe when they're like super high energy and like, you know, I want them to focus on me. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try and work on like a catch sort of thing. So you say the cue and see if it kind of like, oh, this is a fun game. I catch the free treat out of the air. You can drop it into their mouth, yes. Yeah. And I feel like it gets them to orient their body towards us, right? It's like they're, they're focusing back on you and they're like, here comes the treat. Kind of, I like it as like it, would you call it an engagement game? Oh, or I did. Engagement type. Yes. Yes, because yes, they're definitely orienting towards you. Mm -hmm. But I'm also like, it's, I kind of use it as a reward marker. I'm like, there is, because you oriented towards me, I'm giving you a reward, but I'm telling you how you're going to get it. You're going to catch it. Yeah. So I'm like, I, I know it's, I call it a reward marker, but you're doing it because your dog oriented up to you. Yeah. So both engagement game and reward marker, because a lot of dogs like to show off how well they can catch. Yeah. So I like it as well as like you could, if you start up close to begin with, but then you can put some distance on it and make it really impressive, like halfway across the room, <laughs> sat on the couch, on the other side of the baby gate. <laughs> I'm sorry, popcorn in my dog's. Two days yesterday? Yeah. Dad's turned popcorn in there. Like, it's like super fun. <laughs> it's also super useful for when you're doing leash walking mm -hmm. and you don't want your dog to chomp your fingers, you're wearing gloves, and it's hard to get the treats. Yeah. So much easier. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't catch what mom said with Henry about things that they're working on. Is there anything I can do that um, can be perfect or at all be friends? De stress and separation anxiety. So anything you do away from me, look at your people. Okay. I think um, we got some. I'm also going to move this like start there. Like, yeah. I'm going to move. Uh, these two to the back, and if you want to move them, you can start like that. Yeah, we're calling me. Yeah. Who's coming in? 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 Who's coming in?
Hugo up here. Okay.
to sit and wait for the tree to come down to him and then he comes off the ground and bring it back up again. It's like no different to open bar, close bar, right? I'm not inventing something completely new. Which just got me thinking about different ways to deliver treats. Different ways of variations on delivering rewards. Like you can do it in the hand, but if they're chomping on you, you can do it on the ground. Kind of protect your fingers. Or you can do touch with one hand, treat with the other. What other ways have I missed? Let's see. I will go get a cookie toss. I will find a cookie at my feet. I will do catch, grab in the hand. Mm -hmm. I will do, oh gosh. Yes, go to them. <laughs> yes, they can come to my hand for the treat. Good, I go to them with the treat. Yeah. I know I'm missing a song. I know, if there's, if, if you can get really creative, right? Take it, they can get the reward out of the bowl in front of them. Yeah. That's a good one. And then I know somebody else who's just be, excuse me, behind the going and getting the reward from behind them. I started using pop, which doesn't make complete sense, but my behind needs to actually move around back behind me. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I like that. Sometimes I realize, like, I say it in my head that I'm rewarding the dog. Like, I'm not saying that out to when I'm speaking about it. Why I'm doing it a certain way. Why I chose to go on the ground versus straight to their mouth or out of the bowl or things like that. Just, being, like, just spending some time to think about these things. <laughs> Reflecting. <laughs> get to the five to eight month mark and they want to play with their friends. They want to play with the dogs they know. They want to play with dogs they like like them. But honestly, we started, we already started to change the relationship where we wanted to make the dogs more interested in us. Um, and we want to become the most exciting thing in the world. And we want them to learn. And people are like, so I want you guys to notice in this environment, they have a choice. They could be playing with toys. They could be playing with other dogs. They're choosing to work. Um, I also want you guys to notice something else. I see multiple treats around on the floor, and the dogs aren't going and looking for them. They're asking us to work for rewards. This is, uh, the term is called contra freeloading, which a lot of dogs we find, they're like, I would rather eat when I work for it because they like the engagement. They like to do things with their humans which is why dogs make such great pets. Yeah. And um, so, no matter how many treats Angel and I give out, <laughs> pay attention to the fact that all four of these pups have, could grab toys, could play with other dogs, could find a free treat, there's a free treat right there on the floor. She's not. She goes checks out the other dog, comes back to me. Mm -hmm. I'm just working on how to teach her to come into a nice heel position. Not because I need my dog to walk next to me on the table. Oh, we have big feelings about being away from the trainer. We do. <laughs> this is why we like moving around between different pens too, because you you, you offer often see like different behaviors. Yes, that star for a little success while you're in with the other two. Yes. Good yeah. job. I can do some bucket games. Do some impulse control. Um, we need to do some relaxing on the mat. I have to think about a mat that I have for Henry. Because <laughs> yes. he can definitely, he, Henry can definitely fit on these little ones, but he's going to struggle if he's going to lay down. I see, I'm trying to go to Ikea and just buy a couple more of the um, things that we can use as platforms. Yeah. This is totally the little dog taking the big bed. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> oh, there you go. Totally my fault. Start, man. Good job. Good job. 
So I have, um, I sort of have two dogs, and I'm doing different things with the two dogs. Starflight is over there. Starflight, rewarding him for being quiet. Penny over here. I'm luring into a heel position, which is where I would like her to walk sometimes. If I'm passing a person, if I'm passing a dog, if I'm walking through Eastern Market, if I'm walking through a private place, Starflight. I would like Penny to understand that if I say with me or heel, she can come right into this space right next to me. She should be able to go right down the seam of my leg, and she's right there earning a treat. Okay. So the first couple of times, what I did with Miss Penny was I lured her into position, treat my hand. Hey, girlfriend. Good choice, Starfly. Lured her by doing a little foot, arm, back. Yes. Bring everything together and she gets a treat when her toes line up with my, her paws and my toes line up again. So, in order to lure a dog into a quote unquote heel position or with me, tuck them right in next, nice and close next to you, okay. I'll often use the wall. And I'll have the treat in my hand and I'll start off with the lure. Penny's a little worried about all the other dogs in the room. So I'm like, this is me luring her back into position. That's when she gets the treats. I'd like to change it. I'd like to be able to stand here and she flips herself around. <laughs> but it's not happening yet. Those two boys are being very good. They are. I'm trying to start. To... We're working on which bed they need to sit on. <laughs> and they have decided whichever bed they don't quite fit on. Yes. Let's see if you can just figure this out. Yes! So I did. This time I'm just taking the tree, holding it there, and trying to let her problem solve and see if she can figure out how to work her, pivot her butt around. Yes! To get it. Can you figure it out? Can you figure out how to pivot your bum? I'm gonna step forward a little bit to help her. Yes! Did you see that big butt pivot that she did? Oh, you're so smart. You're so smart. You're so good. See, I need you to do one more. Holding the treat there now, seeing if she can figure out how to pivot her butt around to get it. As soon as she gets stalled out a little bit. I'll probably use the hand signal and lure her a little bit. We go. Get treats for jumping. Yeah! Oh my god, it's a girl! It's a girl! It's a girl! you want a demo? Doing a little lure in your heel position? You're not supposed to jump in my back for you in a few. I'm going to leave you in a second for a minute. All right, so same thing with Henry. Lure into position, treat my hand, my arm goes back. When the toes and paws line up, he gets the reward. Lure him back. Notice this wall is a nice guidepost. Okay, go get it. It helps teach him where I want him to be. Lure him back. Right there, yes, that's where he's getting the treat. Go get it. I toss one just to send him away. Just for funsies, I'm going to see if 
I can just stand here and watch you. No, sir. Holding the treat, standing here. Let's see if you can swing into position. Can you figure it out? Can you figure it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's help him a little bit. Yes. Let's help him a little bit with the hand signal. Nice. Yes, can you send him off? Okay. See so if you can get him to go back to me. So he's nibbling on my fingers. Can you get Okay. I can look at this way. I don't know what to do if you don't have the app one. Which one? It does. Yes. Yes. Go get it. So this tells me I need to help him out a little bit more. Yes. Go get it. So build a nice, easy pattern. Lure your puppy around, get used to the nice, easy repetition of what's happening. Or let Henry sniff and clean up all three treats. Go get it. Go get it. Mm -hmm. Ready? Lure him around. Yes. Good job. Go get it. Lure him around. Go okay. get You go and penny or just trot around. Be yes. lovely. Hi, Henry. Yes. yes. Go get it. So I'm going to try again, see if he's yes. kind of figured out how to work his own blood around to where the treats are. Hi, <laughs> Nope, he's really waiting for me to move okay. in. Yeah! Ha! Yeah, buddy. Okay, that was super good. See if you can do it again. Can you figure it out? How do you get to that treat? You got to swing the blood around. Yeah! over the camera to Mr. Starflight, who's this lovely, slightly younger lad than Henry. Looks like Angel's working on a leave it. Don't eat my dinner plate, dude. Just leave it. Bring it up. Bye, That was, since I left Henry over on that side, I put a little bit of spray cheese in a, in a slow feeder. Yes. And Hugo, our Shiba Inu, you, know, you can't see him right now, was very mad that Henry got a cheese plate and he did not. So there was a little bit of yelling at Henry to say, hey, that's mom, back off that. Um, Hugo, our Shiba Inu, you know, resource guards food a little bit from other dogs. So you need very big things. I like the fact that he quieted down pretty quickly. That was very nice. much easier. You were expecting that one, huh, Baba? Took a roll. 
so far in this journey. Good job. Good job. Good job. A little bit of star flight.
we did enough training and work, you guys. Let's do some play. <laughs> right? No. Watch the resource card for a little bit. Okay. And then he's looking to come back here. Yeah. And I'm not sure he wants to be with us, but we'll see. Yeah. Yes. dynamic switch around. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's there's good. Two involved. Yeah. And Henry and Star Henry was trying to play with Starlight. Starlight's like, I don't want to play with you, dude. Yeah. So that was just awkward, which then increased to a little bit of resource for him. Yeah. So we've just got Hugo over here. There's lots of little treats on the ground. He's kind of sniffing around, taking a break. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. Go get it. That's very sweet. Go get it. Just like a little bit of a decompression. So we'll see you back in about 20 minutes with a little tiny baby puppy play date.